Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a Q&A video. So I sent out posts on my Instagram and on my Snapchat and I asked some of my close friends too. So I've got loads of questions and I've got loads to answer. So let's start. So let me just get the questions up. I've got a list somewhere here. There it is, found it. Q&A, October 2020. So some of you sent in like one question and there's some of you big fans who sent in like five or six questions as well. So I'm gonna try and answer as many as I can. I will leave most of the names anonymous unless I wanna bait you out. But um, yeah, let's start. Okay, the first one was three best tips for portrait photography. There's so many things you need to know, but um, if I'd say the best things, I'd say firstly, your aperture. So that's obviously how big the hole is in the middle of your lens. And um, I'd say leave your aperture low, so at like 1.8 or 2.2, stuff like that. So um, you get shallow depth of field, so you can focus on the eyes and everything else is blurry. Depends on what kind of effect you're going for. Three best tips. Another one I'd say, I'd say the best tip is to zoom in as much as you can. So if you're using a really wide angle lens, it tends to like distort their faces. So if you use a lens which is like 70 millimeters or 80 millimeters or anything above that, it kind of gives a proper structure to the face and it just looks much better. And it blurs the background out much more. So using a lens with over 70 millimeters would probably be the best. And for the third thing, I'd probably say don't forget about background and lighting. So people usually forget about where the lights are positioned or what kind of background they're going to use but these like these concepts are really key to how the photo turns out. The angle of the light, how big or small the light is, how dim or bright the light is, the background, they're using a plain background, do you want some sort of pattern and make sure it's not too um, distracting so when someone's looking at the photo they're not looking at the background instead of the actual subject. But yeah, I'd say those are my three main tips for portrait photography. Alright, the next question is Nikon versus Canon. The number one rivalry. So obviously, like you can see in my previous videos and everything I talk about, I've used Nikon and that's just because I've always loved Nikon for some reason. It's just a company that I follow and I've always loved their products. But Canon is beautiful with video, even for photos as well. It's amazing. I've worked with other photographers and I've used their Canon cameras and they're amazing as well. So, but personally, it's just my personal bias. I'm just going to say Nikon. Next question is, which lens is the best for beginners on a budget? So when I first got my camera, I just had the standard kit lens, the 18-55, to the really tiny one, and yeah, it's alright, but it's... anyone who has it just knows it's pretty limiting. So the first lens I got after that was the 18-105 to zoom lens. I'd say it depends on what you want to do. If you want one lens that's going to work for everything, so a lens that's going to be able to have the good zoom range, um, manual focus, autofocus built in, something like the 18-105mm to millimeter or the 18-140, to so mostly like a, a wide zoom range is good. If you're looking to get more creative, then I'd definitely say get a prime lens. So these are lenses that don't zoom in. So the one I'm using right now on my camera is a 50mm f1.8 lens. So it kind of forces you to focus on your composition. So instead of being able to just zoom in and zoom out and be lazy, you're actually having to go forward, go back and position yourself in the correct way. And normally the prime lenses are much better quality as well. They've got low f-stop, so this one goes up to 1.8, which means you can get really shallow depth of fields, which just looks great. And even in dark situations, it gives you an amazing amount of light. So it's great for beginners. All right, next one is, what was your first camera? All right, let me bring this uh, bad boy out. So my first camera that I had was the Nikon D5200. So it was just the one with the flip-out screen. So it was great for YouTube. So I know people use the Canon, I think it's the 60D or something, mostly for YouTube. But I told you I'm biased towards Nikon. So I got this, and it was really good because... You can see yourself, so when I had like, so right now I can't see what's going on in the camera, but when I had this up, you could see yourself and compose your shots properly, so it was really good. And um, yeah, even photos wise, it was uh, pretty good. But um, obviously, once you use it for a while, you realize that, well, first you can see my hand, like it's tiny for me. And secondly, it's only a crop sensor, so I'm using a full frame camera now, which I'll do a whole different video about probably later on. But um, yeah, crop um, sensors are quite limiting. A full frame is much better, so I switched from this one to the Nikon D750. Okay. Right, so next question, which do you enjoy more, photography or videography? Oh, that's a hard one. So, I love photography. I've been doing it since like 2013 or 2014, so like nearly six or seven years now. And I wouldn't have been doing it for this long if I didn't love it. I've gone to help photographers with weddings and stuff, I do events at my uni, and I love it. It's honestly amazing. But there's something about video that you can get more creative with it. Like you have to put in those audio tracks in the background. You have you have to worry about recording sound, recording visuals, editing it after, and like changing the color of the videos. It's not as easy as a picture where you can just whack a filter on it and edit bits out, and it's really quick. Video is much longer and much harder, 
So I respect all the people who are in the video industry because that is a super hard job and it takes much longer than photos. But um, that's why I got into YouTube because I always did photos, but I always loved the idea of video as well. So I just done this to like practice with it, get like creative with the motion shots and editing, and yeah, I do love videos. So I, I love them both. I probably couldn't decide. So the next question is from Mr. H Sock. I'm not going to bait him out, but he says, "Who's your new thing now? Come on, man, you know me. For the last year, I've just been so busy with uni, YouTube, uh, tutoring, and all this COVID stuff that's happened. So no thing right now, man." Someone anonymous asked, what is your ideal day out? I just need a few things for a day out. I just need music, drinks, food, and good people to talk to. So me and my friends, whenever we, uh, before all this lockdown and social distancing and stuff, we used to just go out to the park, take like some speakers, get some drinks, take some food, and just chill, have a good time. And honestly, when you're just sitting with your friends and having fun, those are like the best times ever. All right, so this next one, I don't think I need to introduce who this is, but isn't Shivani your best friend? You just wanted a shout out, didn't you? Alright, fine. Everyone please click on the link down below. I'll leave it in the description. My friend Shivani makes great videos on hair, beauty, makeup, fashion, and loads of other topics. Her content is great, so follow her, subscribe to her channel, and also leave her a comment in some of her videos, putting my name there, so she knows I sent you guys. All right, the next one is from my friend, uh, Mr. Tepler. You know who you are. Um, he says, when looking back in life, what are the things that you'd never do again? Or well, something I done with you, and that was going on Colossus. Oh my goodness, that ride! I was like locked in, and it kept banging my head here. Like, I can still feel it in my head. I think that that ride gave me brain damage. I'm telling you, man. But yeah, that with all those loops and everything, I would never do it again. That just made me like scared of all rides now forever. So I hate you for that one. Also, I can't forget you shouting out, "I'm gonna pass away! I'm gonna pass away!" Instead of saying, "I'm gonna pass out," and everyone's looking at you like, "What is this guy doing? You are such an idiot, man." And you also asked. What is something you've never done, but you want to do in the future? Well, it's something I want to do, and I want to take you with me, and that's skydiving. So, one of our friends, he did skydiving in Dubai, like, over the Palm Islands and stuff. And that looked so magical. It was so beautiful. So, um, we're, even I'm scared of it, and I know you're scared of it as well, but we both need to go and do it. Just hold each other and jump off, and it'll be amazing, man. So, I can't wait. So, the next question is, where do you see yourself in 10 years? So, um, depends what you're talking about, but um, if you talk about career... So I love prosthetics, exoskeletons, so all different types of biomechanics. So my aim is to like get some experience and then open up. So the UK doesn't have much like scope for biomechanics and stuff. It's all about America, of Australia, China, like other countries. But I really want to start up more like firms here and something. So I really want to start my own company for prosthetics. That's like I I honestly love the fact that my knowledge can probably help someone walk again or use their arms again or give them a new pacemaker or something like that. I love helping people and I think that would be such a rewarding job. So in 10 years time, I see myself with my own prosthetics company, helping loads of people live their lives again. Next one is, do you drink a healthy amount? Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm like a full on alcoholic or anything, but yeah, on a night out, I do love my drinking. But yeah, I, I'd say it's healthy. It's under the guidelines for drinking. So yeah, I'm fine. How do you maintain friendships while you're living at home? Do you suffer FOMO? Well, okay, yeah, that's a good one actually. So, um, yeah, sometimes I do feel like I'm missing out because everyone's moving into their own homes and flats. And for uni, like, all my friends are bunched together and living out in flats together. And um, so obviously in my first year, I had an amazing experience. And um, I lived out and I made so many friends in halls. But as the years go harder and it gets more demanding, like the workload just increases, I feel like it's... A good thing that I'm staying at home because knowing me, I'll be too distracted if I lived out and I'll be partying and yeah, I've I've kind of experienced some of that already and I feel like when I'm living at home, I'm more focused. I've got my mom and my sister shouting at me all the time to make sure I'm doing work and um, yeah, it's great. I never miss out motives. If if there's any ever anything going on, I'm always I'm I'm always there. All my friends know that I'm always at every motive, anyways. So I'm always there. My parents are quite chill with me going out and coming back, staying out and coming back the next day or anything like that. Obviously now it's a bit hard, but um, n even now all my friends know that I'm calling people all the time. I'm like arranging games night with my friends. I'm just calling people on Zoom like in the evening or whenever they're free. So I don't really feel FOMO. I'm always connected to everyone. So I love technology for that. Okay, next question. <laughs> Lol, dealing with breakups. I don't know why you're asking me advice for that, but um, I feel like the main thing you need to do is like give each other space. So like if you're still like deciding, like if you obviously make the decision that you guys want to split up, and you're still deciding what you want to, like, if you're not sure, I think the best thing is to just give each other space, stay away from each other for a while, and just see, like, do you think life's better with them or without them? 
And I guess that will kind of give you clarity about the person and if it's right for you guys to break up or not. But yeah, I haven't got much advice apart from that. I haven't got much experience. By the way, all these questions, like the last ones I've been asking, are all from the same person. But um, the next question is, do you like the song WAP? Okay, I'm not going to answer this. We're going to ask my friend over here and see what he says. WAP is a WAP. Hit a bucket and a mop is a WAP. Is a WAP. <laughs> As you can see, best song ever. If you can change one thing that's happened in the past, what would it be? So if I could change one thing, I kind of wrote it down a bit because it's a bit deep, but I said, if you can change one thing in the past, it would be keeping contact with friends and family that have drifted away over the years. So at some point, like these people were so close to you, they knew everything about you, they were always there for you and supported you, and now like you'd hardly speak to them. So like, I always hate the feeling of that. I'm always the person that tries to reach out to people that I haven't spoken in years and try and like build those connections again, but sometimes it's too late. So I regret like not speaking to people more often that I lost now. Because it's actually quite sad, like people that were so close to you have suddenly drifted away, but um, that's life. Something you've accomplished that you're very proud of. I'd say my confidence. So I never thought that I'd be this confident to be posting videos on YouTube or doing the things I do today. Doing photography at events, doing videography at events as well. YouTube, being head boy in my high school, always trying to be group leader in my uni. Like I literally remember in my head boy speech in high school, like I was so nervous. It was the first big thing I did. My mouth was literally like closing. I was trying to talk, there's actually hundreds of people there and I'm trying to give a speech. And I'll see if I can find it and put a little like clip of it right now. But yeah, it was atrocious. I was so nervous at the time. But eventually I did become head boy because people must have loved what I said. And I feel like that experience and then coming to uni and being um, doing photography in uni events and out of uni as well and doing loads of extracurricular stuff, I feel like it's just built my confidence a lot. So I've been able to do stuff in public without worrying what people say. I think that's the main thing. Like Friends and family have always pushed me to not worry about what people are going to say about you as long as you're not doing something stupid, obviously. But if you've got something and you really have a passion for it, People are going to try and put you down, but you just need to keep fighting for it, keep going, and you'll get it one day. Alright, so I think that's it. That's We're done with the questions now. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, it was something different for me. I haven't spoken in the, just in front of the camera for this long since... This long. And the recent video I did, I kind of had a kind of less hair. kind of went bald during quarantine, but yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. Do the usual like you guys always do. And also I want you guys to comment about what you want next because I've been doing some review stuff. I've been doing Q&As and different types of videos. So I'm kind of thinking about narrowing down into one specific field. So if you guys message down below saying what kind of videos you want. I'm pretty much free now. My uni is all online this term. So I've only got a couple of lectures. I'm in third year university and the, the workload is more, but it's more self-learning. So I can kind of structure it myself. I've only got like two or three days of uni. So I've got more time to make videos now. So if you guys comment below saying what you want, then I'm happy to make it. Please don't forget to click on that post notification button as well so you can find out when I'm making new videos and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!